Yeah, did I not talk about that? Did I talk about that in this class? Okay. I should mention, okay, so with alcohol, right? The fastest absorption to your to your you know bot to your bloodstreams is you know through either mucous membranes or you drink it and it goes into your stomach, right? First of all, alcohol is absorbed incredibly quickly through your stomach. So you can just drink it, that's fun too. Um, the other thing is, if you put it in your mouth, it's absorbed very quickly through your mucous membranes of your mouth because that's why there's lots of drugs that you can take sublingually or whatever because your mouth is so incredibly heavily vascularized because it's such a filthy part of your body, you know, your teeth and everything. So lots of blood vessels means that if there's an injury, white blood cells can get there very quickly. Um, so that's a very fast way of getting alcohol into your body. It's just put it in your mouth or swallow it. I've, I've also seen where people put alcohol on their eyeball because I guess the logic there is that your eyeball is a part of your brain. So if you put it on your eyeball, you're putting it on your brain. The problem with that logic is your solera has no blood supply. That's why it looks white. There's no blood supply there. So that's like the worst place to put it. You might as well put it on your teeth. I mean, it's just not going to get into your bloodstream. So that doesn't work. Uh, I've, I've heard of people putting it on tampons and putting it in their vaginas, and people putting it in their rectum. Uh, there's no reason to do that. Your mouth is the best place to put it. That's the most vascular place. Um, I've also seen some people say, well, if you put it in your butt, then you can come over for driving. Uh, your blood alcohol will be normal. No, because <laughs> no, it won't. But because the blood it goes into your blood, and the way that they test the blood alcohol is through your breath, because it's excreted through your lungs. So it doesn't matter how it got in your body; it won't have an effect. So if you've until now been putting beer into your rectum, you can stop, <laughs> and you can start putting it in your mouth. So it's fine. Now I should mention there's another. There was another famous study I think in the eighties or nineties. Uh, at a college campus, and what they did was they took two uh, two big groups of college students uh, who were all, I guess, legal for whatever state it was. And each one of them, they said, okay, here's a party. And they put a big bowl of punch into the room, and they told the students that it was spiked with alcohol. One was spiked with alcohol, the other one was just punch. And both, saw, they had an equal amount of drunkenness in both <laughs> And people who were, I mean, like, you could test their reflexes were off, so they really were drunk. So if people are putting alcohol in their eyeballs or their butt, and they say, oh, I get way more drunk, it's, they probably, that's probably up. I don't drink alcohol, but I find that, uh, I always tell people, like, you have to drink to catch up to me, so. <laughs> My normal state is, yeah, so there's lots of things about alcohol, like, yeah, don't put it in your bottom. That's, it just seems like it would be really uncomfortable.